This podcast is proud to be sponsored by Tuvu. Tuvu connects people, families, and communities on their values-based social media platform. There's no ads, no explicit content, just fun. Check it out at Tuvu.com. Our favorite basketball star is joining us again today. It's Jonathan Isaac, and he's going to be talking about faith, family values, his Christian clothing brand, Unitas, plus an exclusive offer just for our moms. Stay with us. You know, I've never really felt comfortable sharing pictures of my kids on social media. Then I found Tuvu, a premium social app with an actual authentic community. No bots, no one trolling me or my family. Just clean, wholesome content you can trust. Welcome to the Moms for America podcast. Each week, special guests tackle the issues facing the moms of America today. Discussions include personal stories and advice on how moms can build a strong foundation of faith, family, and freedom in their homes and country. Hi, moms. I'm Debbie Kurletis, your host, and welcome once again to the Moms for America podcast. So glad that you are joining us again this week. Every week we gather together to inspire, encourage, and educate moms in their journey through motherhood. All right. Well, we've got a great show coming up, so I want to get right into it. Uh, you might remember Jonathan Isaac from our podcast last year, but if you miss Jonathan, he is most known as a power forward for the Orlando Magic. He also made news in 2020 when he stood during the national anthem while his team and the rest of the NBA took a knee in support of Black Lives Matter. His book, Why I Stand, tells the story. And since that time, Jonathan has started his premier Christian apparel brand called Unitas. Well, welcome back, Mr. Jonathan. We're so glad to have you on the Moms for America podcast again. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Well, we talked to you. I'm not actually actually sure when we chatted, but it was a while ago. So yeah. uh, first of all, I want to just catch up a little bit. How's the family? How's your wife? <laughs> How's that baby? Doing fantastic. So Naomi is a year and some change now. I, I, I don't know. My, my wife could tell you to the weeks, but not not me. But okay. she's doing really, really good. She had her first swimming lesson yesterday. <laughs> and uh she's been she's been awesome. She's been running around, just growing, you know, talking more. And it's been a it's been a joy to just see her grow. Well, now you officially have a toddler, so watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I wanted to get a little bit about your wife and about family life in a little bit. But um, since we last chatted, um, how has everything been going? I think you just told me you just got back from your first uh, practice today. Give us a little bit of update uh, professionally and then a little bit about the family, too. Yeah. So uh, the summer has been good. Um, I've been able to to get around a little bit, speak about Unitas and everything that we've been doing on that front. But at the same time, train and everything. And so, um, you know, First day of training camp means we're getting really geared up for the season now. We got about a, a week of training camp, and then it's into the preseason. And so you know, it's been working hard, and we're looking forward to having a really good year this year. Yeah. And then just the family front, just been just been growing. Like, you know, me and my wife just celebrated three years. Um, we had our anniversary on the 18th of September. And so uh, right before the, we kind of rolled into training camp and everything now. But everything has been great growing on that front, um, looking to add to the family. And so, you know, guys, just been good and just been just been growing. Everything is good. Well, there's nothing like it, right? Like being a dad and, you know, it's a new level, obviously. Um, so how is, how is fatherhood really? I mean, that is, I know, rocked your world in such a beautiful way. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's like, um, it's, it's scary. Um, it is, it's fulfilling. It's, uh, it's just kind of everything at once. It's like, it's yeah. not, it doesn't stay in kind of one place. You just, oh, I'm so happy and excited. Of course you are. But then it's like, oh my gosh, I have this immense responsibility um that's looking at me and um they don't know what it what it is that, that what my job is but i'm thinking ahead okay my job is to do this that and the third and i gotta do it well and i gotta do it right and so uh it's definitely challenging it, it makes you want to become better and strive yeah. to become better um and at the same time it's uh it's, it's just beautiful you know watching them go from you know not being able to move to crawling to taking that first step she's been she was really really quick on all that stuff so she was walking at eight months <laughs> Oh, and yeah. so she's just been she's just been kind of killing all the killing all the targets. She's, she's a pretty you know, big, 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 big little girl. But uh, 
but yeah, it's, it's just been awesome. Um, uh, I definitely see, uh, you know, how everyone talks about oh, like the, the early years and how awesome it is now that she's talking and everything. Her favorite word is no. <laughs> and so it's it's been interesting <laughs> trying to get her to do something that she want to do. No, 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 no. Yeah. And so it's, yeah. it's cute, though. It's so fun. Good. Oh, that's so great. Well, I love to talk uh, just you've been such an incredible role model. Uh, no one knows it more than you about standing up under the pressure. Um, boy, I, you've been speaking across the country and sharing your testimony. Uh, what are you sharing to the young people today? I mean, it is a tough culture. We talked about this last time, but yeah, God has really blessed you with a beautiful opportunity and a beautiful testimony. Yeah. It's it's mainly been just, you know, focusing on the people of faith that, you know, we have a, we have an obligation, but also a beautiful opportunity to stand for what we believe in, um, yeah. in the midst of the chaos of the world. Um, not doing it in a prideful way, but, but shining our light and being proud of who we are in Christ. It's not about our righteousness or our perfection. It's about him and just kind of putting him on a pedestal. And, uh, and that's really just what I've been going around, you know, talking and saying to everybody that look, it's, it's fearful. Uh, you know, I've been terrified of everything that, that God has asked me to do. Um, and there's times where I, I followed through it and at times when I didn't, because I was too afraid, but, um, but I, I've seen his faithfulness and his goodness throughout the entire journey. And, um, you know, I just want people to know this, the same thing that my pastor said to me when I was facing a, a difficult stand, he said, you cannot stand for God and God not stand for you. And so I've just been kind of carrying that testimony to everybody that I've come in contact with, with all the speaking engagements and all that stuff that in this, in this time, in, you know, the, 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 the havoc that's in the country or the havoc that's in your own life. Um, you know, this moment, if you choose to make a decision to stand for God, um, God will honor those that honor him. And yeah. so, um, yeah. And I, I would say to all the moms that are watching, please get Jonathan's book because it is <laughs> so inspiring. It is so inspiring to see a young man in the NBA take a stand for his own convictions far beyond political pressure or professional pressure and really, you know, God will bless when we, when we stand for him. Yeah. And the, the thing about the book, um, even outside of the whole stand, the main thing that I love about the book is that it, it really did give me an opportunity to, to tell my whole story. And so it wasn't just that, Hey, you know, I became a Christian and I was able to, you know, I had so much courage and so much boldness and belief that I'm going to stand no matter what I'm facing. It was, you know, if you know my roots, you know what I come out of, which is, you know, extreme anxiety, yeah. you know, self insecurity and fear. Like I, I was in the book and you know, I was the number one player in the state of Florida, um, you know, headed to Florida State for college. And I was on anxiety medication. And it was something that I was, you know, I kept from my family. I kept from, you know, only one teammate and one coach knew because I had episodes on campus. And so um, it, it's the it's a story of how could God possibly take this and mm. use this one, you know, to ultimately to stand up for, you know, stand up for him in, in the midst of craziness and chaos. Um, uh, and it, it's it, that, that's the reason why I like the book so much. So, you know, yeah. people get, you know, harp on the stand. Oh, you know, Stan, you're so bold. So courageous. I'm like, man, if you only knew uh, kind of the behind the scenes. And I was able to detail that in the book. And it's just a, a beautiful story of the the transformative power of Christ and um, you know, how God will put the right people in your life. Because if it wasn't for my pastor, um, mm -hmm. you know, my, my, obviously my, my, my immediate family, but my, my wife, the church family, the people that he put around me, um, you know, to encourage me and to teach me what faith looked like, it made all the difference. Well, we're going to talk about Unitas in a minute, but before we leave your testimony here, just as a quick recap, when you look back now, is it, a, I'm sure that you're speechless on the opportunities that God gave you, because in that moment, you probably thought your career was over. I know you did. I know you were here. You were wondering, will they ever renew my contract? Will I ever play ball again? Right? Absolutely. Yeah. That was, that was one of the things uh, I had a conversation with my pastor the night before I, you know, the stand happened and I was telling him like, look, you know, I, I don't think you really understand what this is going to be like. First and foremost, I'm going to be a sellout to the black community. And, you know, in terms of, you know, my, I'm going to lose my black card. Uh, I hadn't signed my, my contract extension, like you just mentioned, that was coming up that summer after the season was over with. I was afraid about missing out on that opportunity because of the backlash that I might have received. And that's when he went on to say, look, Jonathan, it doesn't matter what you're facing. You know, you cannot stand for God and God not stand for you. Amen. Well, look what God has done. Such a great, such a great story of, of inspiration and boldness. So fast forwarding, I mean, obviously you're still playing. 
<laughs> so that's good. God, look what God has done. And your, you know, your career has not been compromised. In fact, you become uh, such a, a great celebrity for Christ. And I mean that really with great respect, because we should all be celebrating what Christ has done. The word celebrity, I always love that because we're celebrating something. We're right. celebrating what God has done and and you've just been such a great voice. So let's talk a little bit about this premium Christian apparel company called Unite Us. And you got to tell us about how you picked Unite Us. Yeah, facts. So the, the story starts around the same time uh, of, of the stand. I was a Nike athlete at that time and I ended up getting injured in the bubble and not being able to continue. But uh, Nike ended up not resigning me. And I remember kind of going to my pastor and I was like, hey, this is the situation. When I get back from rehabbing, I'll, I'll either try to go back with Nike because I'll be back playing or I'll try Adidas or another brand. And he said, why don't you make your own sneaker? And I was like, uh, you know, that that's not something that kind of players do. You know, it's you know that's why we have brands because brands do that. And so just out of obedience, I'm like, OK, you know, I'll, I'll look at what it could possibly look like. And, you know, it just felt like everything started to line up. All the pieces started to come together. I called my agent. I called this person. And they were like, hey, you know, I know this guy. I know this guy. This person manufactures out of this you know country or whatnot. And lo and behold, it, it came together and we were like, yo, we can really do this. And um, the idea was to call it the Judah one. So my middle name is Judah, Jonathan Judah Isaac. And uh, um, the inspiration around the shoe was to be able to take the word of God with me on the court in the NBA. And so uh, every every pair of them, the first five that we dropped had an individual Bible verse that spoke to my story. And I was able to wear it on the court all of last season. And um, it, it was amazing. And then, um, you know, we kind of came together again around the time of the beginning. And we were like, yo, you know, why, why, why just create a shoe? You know, because the same way that you wanted to take the word of God with you, every, wherever you wanted to go on the court and off the court, why not give that opportunity to everybody, uh, not only basketball players, but eventually football and baseball and, and moms that want to carry the word of God with them and uh, mm -hmm. kind of the whole nine. And I remember I got a phone call from my pastor and he was like, look, I'm, I'm at the altar right now at our church. And one of the things that we have at our church right in front of the altar is uh, uh, the Ark of the Covenant. And it has the kind of two wings pointing into each other and the flame in the middle. And he was like, I'm looking at it right now. And one of the things that I said to God was, you know, we're so divided from, you know, politically to just, you know, racially, just in our world, period. And he was like, God, the, it's only you that could unite us. And he was like, I think you should name the brand Unite Us. And I was like, OK, <laughs> you got it. I, I, you know, <laughs> that's a beautiful name. I can't I know I love this story. And so we even modeled the the, the logo um, right. after the Ark of the Covenant as well. And so that that is how the that's how the genesis of Unitas has been born. And we started with that high top sneaker um, that I wore last season. Um, this summer we dropped our first low tops, which is the same pretty much the same shoe, but just in a low top fashion. And mm -hmm. this October um, we're going to be dropping uh, the Fortra, which is our first kind of step outside of basketball sneakers to an actual just trainer shoe that everybody can you know wear and sport Bible verses. Uh, kind of in their everyday lives. All right. Well, that's a great lead in to my next question. <laughs> we uh, we want to talk about this because Moms for America was a little bit a part of this uh, design and this idea for this Esther shoe. Uh, purple is our color. We yep. love it because it's uh, the combination of red, white, and blue. It's also a color of royalty in the Bible. So um, kind of tell us how Moms for America you know, this is going to be our official shoe, by the way, um, awesome. you know, had this opportunity to kind of, you know, talk about Esther in such a time as this and kind yes, of was, absolutely. It's, it's, yeah. So, uh, so when we started kind of formulating what the idea of the fortune was going to be, um, I wanted it to, to really be about honoring God. And so our, our, our mantra for the fortune release was honor God with every step. And on the back of the, the shoe, it would have uh, 1 Samuel 2.30, which says, he who honors God, God will honor. Mm -hmm. And so um, we came up with these six colorways, and um, each of them had that Bible verse on it. And uh, um, we started talking about maybe one of the shoes, let's 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 partner with a with with somebody, a person or a brand and, um, you know, do colors around them and allow them to pick the Bible verse. And as we kind of towered, um, kind of scoured through who we could possibly talk to, you know, there was a connection with Moms for America and all the amazing work that you that you do personally, but then obviously what your organization does. Uh, my my wife was a part of your organization at one point, just, just yes. coming around and being a part. And so, um, you know, we admired it. We admired the work. We admired the tenacity. And we, we admired 
the uh, uh, just moms in general, um, the moms right. that are standing in the gap, the moms that are vigilant about, um, vigilant about, um, you know, their kids and protecting their kids, protecting what, what, what their kids are learning, protecting what their kids are putting into their bodies, just moms that are really present. And um, I have a mom that's amazingly present and it has been throughout my, you know, you know, younger years and worked multiple jobs in order for me to be where I am right now. And so the shoe is really just to honor those moms. And obviously the color is purple. And so that's where the Fortra, uh, this is the Unitas Fortra Queen uh, shoe. And so purple, uh, this is the design. It's a little bright right now, so you can't really see it that well. It but it's gorgeous. On the back there is where you see Esther 414 that you mentioned, which is you guys' verse. And so this is what we had put together. And I know that we, you know, we showed it to you already. And and this is it. And so what we're doing as we launch this thing, this is going to be the first pair out of the six that launches. And we're going to do a special Moms for America release where um, everybody in your organization has a free 72 hours to shop this shoe first um, yes. before anybody else. And we're also doing a discount as well. So I think it's MFA 10 on the it website is. Um, and you'll be able to get a discount and uh, just, just a tribute to you guys and all the amazing work that you do. And I wanted it to be special for you guys to be able to get it first and kind of hold everybody else off. Like, no, this is for the moms yes. for America people and, and moms that want to rep the shoe. And, uh, and I can't wait to see how it all goes down. So this shoe is dropping today. That's when this uh, podcast is airing. So moms, you can go to, and we're going to put all this up here. You can go to okay. weareunitis.com. The offer code is MFA10. They're going to get $10 off this shoe. It's uh, it's a small, uh, it's limited, I should say, yes. just for our moms to get ahead of the, it's kind of like a pre-sale. Is that yes. the best way we'd put it? So yeah. Moms for America gets a pre-sale. They get a discount and a chance to get this shoe right off the bat, special for our moms. I love the shoe and I love the Esterverse. I love that we were chosen for such a time as this. Absolutely. And again, you, you guys do amazing work. And I, I think just us being able to come together and amplify it is, is really awesome. Moms, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And we're going to hear more from Jonathan in just a moment. Real quick, I do want to invite all of you to please like, subscribe, and share our podcast. This is how we get our message out. This is how we share these inspirational stories. Also, speaking of stories, if you have an idea or a topic that you'd like to email me, email me at podcast at momsforamerica.net. I would love to hear from you. Lastly, if you are not a part of our moms, you're not a part of our moms group, our sisterhood, our family, would you please join us here at Moms for America? We are uniting all across the country. We are fighting for faith, family, freedom, and the constitution. All you do is you go to momsforamerica.us, sign up for our newsletter. You can fill out any inquiry forms. We will go ahead and follow up with you immediately. We have such incredible resources for you moms. We are here to support you in every way. We'll be right back. What kind of America do you want to leave future generations? What do you want America to look like for your children and your grandchildren? Our nation is at a crossroads and it will be us, the mothers of America, who will determine the future of our country. What we teach and nurture in the hearts of our children and how we vote will make all the difference. If you love God, respect life, honor family, and cherish freedom, then use your voice and be heard. We teach these values in our home. Let's secure them with our vote. It's so important in today's world to be Esther's. Right. I know that your wife and I, when we had an interview together in Dallas, we talked about a lot about this, about women today as moms uh, showing up, speaking up, um, not being afraid, uh, defending our children and fighting for our freedoms. I mean, it's a big battle right now. There is a war. There's a war against our kids. Absolutely. And, and you touched on it in terms of the fear piece. It it's really scary. And I think that's a part of it's, it's supposed to be that way and a part of the way that they've made it to where, you know, if you, if you have any question, you have any, um, you know, apprehension to what's happening, you're, 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 you're an evil person and you, you don't care about other people. Um, but we really do have to rise above that and say, no, I, I'm, I'm not crazy. You know, what, what I think is valid. And, um, especially when it's about protecting yourself and protecting your family, um, you know, men and women, but obviously women mostly in this front, 
um, have to be on the forefront lines and be willing to kind of lay themselves down to the culture, lay themselves down to, you know, the, the, the verbal attacks and everything that you'll take in order to stand up for truth. I love the shoe. And I actually love all this because how you said when you walked out on the court with your scripture, this scripture is really for moms. When we put those shoes on, just like anything, when we actually put on the armor of God every day, we're going to, every step we take, we're going to be walking in a scripture. I just think this is terrific. Not many people are walking with scriptures on their shoes. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, <laughs> I've done it for a little bit now because I've, I've worn them, you know, the shoes every time I've went on and played and it's awesome. It's like the, what I've heard from people in terms of, Hey, you know, I wore your shoe to school today. Or I wore your shoe to play basketball. And people were asking me about it. And I was able to uh, tell them what the verse meant and what the verse meant to me and mm -hmm. be able to spark up a conversation. But I, I think that it does a lot of things. One, it's obviously an, an, an opportunity to, you know, just take, you know, take the word with you everywhere that you go. It's mm -hmm. an opportunity to minister to the people around you when they have questions or, oh, you know, that design looks so cool. I haven't seen that shoe. Um, but it's also a way to keep yourself accountable, too. Cause it's like when I'm, when I'm putting the shoe on to get ready to play a game, I'm like, Oh, I see, I see the verse, you know, yes. it kind of keeps, keeps me in check too. Like, okay. You know, if somebody trash talks me, I'm not, it's not going to be the first thing that I, that I trash talk them back. And so I think it does a lot of things on a lot of different fronts. And uh, I really do think it's just a, it's a beautiful opportunity to come together, connect and um, promote something that's awesome. So as far as the shoe, I just wanted to come back to that. Not only obviously with the scripture and the beautiful color, but is it a running, walking? I want to make sure we understand the gym shoe because this is, I don't even know if you call it gym shoes. Yeah, is I, that, I would is say that an outdated term? Gym no, 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 you're good. <laughs> I, I, what, what a lot of people call them today is a trainer. It's kind of like the That's like it. multifaceted. I wouldn't say it's a, it's not our rendition of a specific running shoe that we would want people to get out there and kind of put 10,000 miles on. Um, but that's something for, you know, your light workouts, um, your light runs, but really mainly for walking around, it is extremely comfortable. And once you get it on your feet, you're going to understand why like, okay, this is really, really comfortable. The, um, the mesh that we use is super light and airy and the foam is really, really high quality. Okay. Can you show it to us one more time? I want to yeah, get one more look that. at that. No, I mean, there it is for our mamas. Again, if you, uh, Look at this. Super cool. If you want to get a, this shoe, this trainer shoe, which of course is the better term, you go to weareunitis.com. We'll put that up. The offer code is MFA10, and you will get a chance to get this pre-sale exclusive limited uh, run right now on these shoes. This is so exciting. I mean, walking out our faith is so huge. And when you talk about doing a shoe like this, I think it just really gives us all a really nice boost every day to kind of get out there. One, move. And number two, yep. walk in his walk in his path and walk in um, the journey that God's given us, especially as moms. We do a lot of running. So shoes are really good for us. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what else can we look forward to uh, from you, Jonathan? I know you're always looking at new adventures and speaking. Is there some other things with the with the clothesline or different things that we can look forward to? Well, there will be uh, some clothes that drop alongside the shoes, um, kind of you know, kind of more branded tees and, and hoodies and stuff like that. So you can definitely check that out as well. But kind of my main job right now is obviously basketball and, and yep. us winning this season. Um, but then kind of on the side, I'm, I'm trying my best to, to grow United as a brand because I do want to be able to, you know, at the right time, get into other things. And so we're kind of basketball right now. And the trainer is our first step outside of that. Next, we want to be able to do football and baseball and, you know, uh, the, give the ability to the kids that are playing these different sports to take their word with them as well. So right now we're only in basketball, which is great. But at the same time, I see I get a lot of messages like, yo, when are you going to make a, a cleat, you know, with scripture on it or a baseball cleat or a sure. soccer cleat? I'm like, in time, guys, in time. You gotta get, you gotta, you gotta, any support absolutely helps us grow to be able to get there. I know you're talking about the basketball season and, you know, you're going to you're going to do great. It's going to be a great, a great season for you, I'm sure. But Thank how you. do you balance it all? How do you balance being a dad, being a husband, you know, being a professional and most of all, just really keeping, keeping focused on the Lord. I mean, it's, these are challenging times for anyone, let alone someone that is, you know, on the road playing, playing ball. Yeah. I, I honestly think the real answer for me is, I don't know. <laughs> I like, uh, it's, I, I, a lot of times I want this like perfect um, balance to where I'm able to be Superman and do everything all the time, all at once. Um, but the reality is there are a lot of seasons where 
um, some take a backseat to others and um, uh, obviously none take a backseat to God being first. But a lot of the things that I'm juggling is like, okay, right now it's season time right now, you know, in the right. summertime, it wasn't as, as much focused on season. So I could really focus in on the family and United and everything I got going on. Now I'm going to be going on the road. So I won't see the family as much. And so it's, it's just about kind of making it work and, and understanding that, you know, I'm not Superman and I can't do everything all the time, all at once and kind of giving myself a little bit of grace. And right. the, my wife is absolutely amazing. The people that I have around me really do help me do that because I'm I'm the person that will try to do, okay, I need to be everything to everybody all at once. And then I get burnt out. And um, so when, when you're kind of a person that has a lot on their plate, um, some things do just, you, you kind of, everything is moving at once and some things do take a backseat and you've kind of got to be okay with that, or you will get into that place of really getting burnt out and just not wanting to do it anymore. Yeah. You did talk about two things that I just wanted to kind of in closing, you said you thought you might lose your black card. <laughs> You're still black. I'm still black. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't lose our identity. We don't lose who we are, who God created us to, because we speak up. And I know that is a challenge in today's culture, right? Because everything is about color. Right, for sure. And it's 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 just a it's a, it's a difficult thing. And um, you know, you know, people who are you know who are black will really understand it in terms of like, uh, you know, if there ever is any criticism or any. Um, things that doesn't align, you know, perfectly with the community that you're a part of, um, you know, people can really can be really critical. And race is a specific thing that has kind of blown up in in, right. in in the last few uh, years or whatnot. It has continued to because I think, um, you know, by the media and everything, it has been really fluffed up. But it's a challenge. You know, it's it's, it's a challenge for 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 you know black people, black Americans who think yeah. differently. You know, who don't vote in the same way that the majority vote or who don't think in the same way that the majority thinks. It's something that we all have to go through because we all have family and friends and people that we've grown up with. And we want to honor those relationships. But, you know, we can't honor those relationships more than we honor God. And ultimately, that's where the severance happens. Right. And as far as being such an outspoken Christian, has there been backlash on that or do people respect your religious beliefs? <laughs> I'd say yes and no. Um, there's definitely been backlash. I, you know, I, I try my best to stay off of Twitter a lot of the times because uh, really? you know, my, my notifications amazing. aren't always <laughs> aren't, aren't always God bless you. And so, um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of it. I've, I've learned to kind of take it in stride and just kind of laugh at it all. But right. um, I'd say yes and no. Yes, I, I've definitely gotten backlash and, and you know, um, I've definitely felt it. I've definitely experienced it. But at the same time, I've experienced a, a great deal of encouragement from the people who, you know, agree with me. And so getting on Twitter, Instagram, it's, it's, you, you get both sides. I, you know, I get the people who love it and, and understand it and believe in the same way that I do. But obviously the people who don't. And, you know, it's a part of it. Yeah. Well, thank you for being such a good, uh, an inspirational voice. I keep saying that because that's really when I think about you, I'm like, God bless you and a covering over your family and your career and all the wonderful things that we're doing. And for those that are the naysayers, we just ignore them. And for those that are, you know, with us, we try to encourage and inspire them. So you're going to do great. I can't wait to watch you this season. And again, show us that shoe right before we leave. One more time. Wow. Okay, <laughs> moms, that's it. We've got it. So again, uh, we are unitis.com offer code MFA 10. You can get yours now limited edition. And thank you so much for partnering and, and being inspired by moms from America. We love this purple. That is our color. We love the scripture verse because we are chosen for such a time as this. And, um, thanks for just sharing that. I mean, we love the shoe. It's going to be our official step out shoe. Yeah, this was this was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad, I'm glad we did this. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. And God bless yes. you, Unitas, the baby, the mom, everybody out there. Please say hello to your wife for us. Okay, we will do. Thank you so much. What a great interview with Jonathan. And so fun that Moms for America, us as moms, can get a trainer shoe. This is going to be amazing. Again, you go to weareunitas.com. You put in MFA10 for your discount. And I just want to make sure this is clear. This is dropping today. And we have, what, 72 hours to get our order in before it goes public. So this is a great special for you moms. Love it. Can't wait to wear them. Also, thanks for joining us on this program. And I do remind everyone that if you want more information for Moms for America and you want to join our amazing uh, family here, take advantage of all our programs, our resources, all the support that 
you need on your journey through motherhood, you go to momsforamerica.us. We say we have it all from parental rights to public policy, from the kitchen table to Congress. Again, Moms for America is here to help you. So moms, I will see you next week. And uh, remember, let's keep changing our country one home at a time. God bless.